you tube what's up it's your boy 360 Jeezy today in this video I'm gonna do a reaction to this video on the 10 top things that get on your barber's nerves all right I'm a barber I know what gets on my nerves I just want to see if these people know what they're talking about all right chances are they know what they're talking about because they look like barbers too all right so make sure you guys stay tuned if you're a client and you're watching this you're not a barber you need to pay attention and listen all right so i'm gonna just i'm gonna just really have to control myself and, and, and hold my composure as best as i can but i'm telling you in my mind i might just go crazy it's your boy 360 jeezy stay tuned YouTube without further ado let's go okay we on hey world all right we got what 10 up, tips what up? for you clients out there 10 things that really really get on your barber's nerves you know what i'm saying let's hear number one number one if i'm trying to turn your head this way if i'm trying to turn your head this way when i let go of your head you shouldn't be like this you that's that's stiff neck. Why are you fighting me for? I'm trying to turn your head this way. What are you doing? Stiff you know neck. Please don't do that. Man, what you? Two, I hate that. You just walk from I don't know where, and you got sweat running all down your face. You super sweaty. Don't come just hopping the chair. Don't, don't come just hopping the chair. Get a napkin or something. Either, you know what I'm, what I'm saying? saying? Wipe yourself that don't off. Make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Clippers can't right, cut with three. sweat on your head, <laughs> at all. If I'm cutting your hair. Don't take your foot off the barber chair and put it on the floor trying to turn around and look at the mirror. You I've turn, never turn, had that turn happen. Turn the chair yourself. <laughs> just ask me. I'll turn you around. What you doing that for? That's just sit, just sit there and chill. You know what I'm I've saying? never had that happen. Number four. If I ask you what you want, don't just tell me be like, mm, regular cut. That's, what's a regular what's cut? To me, you're going to get a one all around and a lineup. And, and a lineup. Line exactly. Off, exactly. You're going to pay Regardless. Yep. You gonna pay that fifteen? <laughs> For real. Yeah. Number five, don't be slouching in your chair. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't just sit up. The you ones that's too in cool. In the back of your chair, is, the back of the chair is all the way by your neck. How how I'm gonna get to the back of your neck? The the right. sitting in the chair and stuff like this, like that's annoying, man. Right, right. <laughs> Number six, now you gonna get that slouch taper too. And this go, I know a lot of barbers go through this. If you if you sit in my chair, don't be like. Hey man, are you good at cutting hair? You good at cutting hair? Yeah, I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? I know it's trash barbers out there, but don't come sit in my chair and ask me if I'm good at cutting hair. <laughs> it's kind of rude saying? though, if you think about That's it. That's kind of disrespectful. I don't like it. Right. All right. right. This is number seven now. When you waiting in the little waiting area for like 15 minutes to get your hair cut, and you and then I say ask you for you next. You should have been made up your mind on what kind of haircut you want. Don't right. be trying to get up and look at the little pictures. Oh my now. goodness. Like, yeah. Look I don't know. I don't know. What you been doing this whole time? You've been doing so this whole time. Back. You've been Come sitting on, in the waiting room right. not doing this nothing. Eight now. Oh my if goodness. You, if you got gel, he's spitting some or facts. Like something in your hair to style your hair, and you leave it in your hair, you coming to get a cut. Don't just go in the bathroom real quick and try to put a whole bunch of water in your hair and come sit in a chair and your hair all soaking wet and stuff like that this is gonna mess our clippers up we don't like right that, you know right just be polite and be like hey man i got some gel in my hair and I we'll wash it for it you because i just came from work or or something like that we'll take care of it just let right. us know right you know just let us know they are expensive. Shit. all right this is number nine <laughs> if your kid if i'm cutting your if, you're, if i'm cutting your child's hair and say something chair, to him acting the ass acting say fool, something to him man say something I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it because this is one of my pet peeves. When moms or dad bring their child in and the whole time they just moving and stuff while you trying to cut their hair and they just moving, they crying, they they you obviously see them acting a plum fool and you guys will sit there and not say nothing that is the most annoyingest thing because it may as a barber it makes you want to just grab their head and, and just treat them like your own child and bend their head down and do it yourself and say you do this all right now i didn't had enough about this i didn't had enough okay you gonna sit there and get this paper you gonna sit here <laughs> and get this taper all right let's go <laughs> say something to him what a what you want me to discipline your child too? Hey. And cut his hair at the same time? 
can't imagine how they'd be at the house, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to spend an hour cutting your kid's hair. Right. For $12. Right. And when I can cut a normal person's hair in 25, 30 minutes for, for $15. You know what I'm saying? Man, making your work way, way harder. Kids, man, don't be having them in here acting all wild, running around a barbershop. Throwing the pool balls everywhere, like they belong on the table. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Take care of your kids, man. For real. All right. And this is the last tip, number ten. Number ten. Phone cutting your hair. I knew you. We grabbed the phone. Text message. You Listen, no, the whole time? no phones when you sitting That's with annoying. me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm trying to touch, hey, can you look up for me, sir? And then you look and right back down. That happens all the time. You start cutting your hair, you look back down. It happens Stop all doing the time. That, man. Damn. What you, know you know want? And, and it's, and it's, bro, you ain't come here to be on your phone. You can get on your phone when you leave. Man. And it's like, almost like, like, yeah, bro. like what do you what do you want out, more? Man, you know the haircut that? or to, to be to what, doing whatever on your phone? Your like more fast and efficient. You know what I'm saying? So those are ten tips. Ten tips to help the clients. Understand why barbers might feel frustrated sometimes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Help your barber out. We help you out. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. All right bro. Peace out. This was a dope video, man. This 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 video right here was super dope. I like the fact that he was mentioning all of this, especially at the end. That's a lot of clients that try to be on their phones. Like, come on, do you want your haircut? Do you want do you want your haircut right? Or do you want to pay attention to whatever it is on your phone? You can't take 15, 30 minutes to stop looking at your phone to get a haircut? You mean to tell me looking fresh ain't more important than what's on your phone? Stuff like this, it really, it really frustrates me, man. Like, if you're a client out there, all right, don't do none of these things, all right? Help me help you, all right? That's, a, that's the bottom line. Help me help you, all right? And that's, that, that's all we saying, all right? So, at the end of the day, if you're a client, you're probably not gonna like this video. You know what I'm saying? To all my barbers out there, give this video a thumbs up. Forget it, all right? We taking over. For all my barbers out here, like this video right now. If you're a barber, subscribe. <laughs> nah, but if you're a client too and you're one of them good clients, please hit that thumbs up button. Everybody hit that thumbs up button, all right? Hey, it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Cheers.